On today's video, is Trevor Lawrence unbeatable on a Saturday? Did the Chiefs get a favorable draw with their officiating crew? Will the Snow Globe play make a return this week versus Jacksonville? Plus, we give you our final game and MVP predictions for Chiefs versus Jags. Stick around. What's happening, Chiefs Kingdom? The Kansas City Chiefs are playing the Jacksonville Jaguars this Saturday in the divisional round. Trevor Lawrence has never lost on a Saturday, 37 and 0, dating all the way back to either high school or college. Either way, this guy don't lose on Saturdays. Is this going to be the first time, Mike? Patrick Mahomes is in the way, Steve. Yes, this is, uh, this is probably the time the streak ends. All good things must end. And yeah, high school, college, who cares? He's never played Patrick Mahomes. He's never did this in Arrowhead. But he did say that uh, Arrowhead couldn't be that much louder than TIAA Bank Field was in Jacksonville last Saturday. Which, right. I mean, let's be honest, man. Hey, that was a comeback, dude. That place maybe, was rocking. Maybe he's so confident that he can win on Saturday because of the weird you know, record that he thought he could rile him up and still win. He don't even care anymore. He So he, he I don't know, he kind of shot himself in the foot with that one, in my opinion. Yeah, but I mean, come on, this dude, I mean, he's, a, he's Patrick Mahomes said he's a baller, man. He's the Waffle House king. Um, he's a baller. He celebrated at Waffle House. How cool is that? Um, Trevor Lawrence is just a good dude. Um, I don't have no qualms with Jacksonville, their fans, anything. Uh, if they beat us this week, fair and square, good deal. I'll probably root for them the whole way, to be honest. Right, same here. They're not one of those teams that just get under my skin as far as fan base or the team themselves. So uh, definitely not a Bengals or a Bills or anything like that. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I don't think I have any problem with Jacksonville. Their fans, they've been uh, respectful. They've not trolled us. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a good game this week. But let's move on to the officiating crew, Steve. A lot of people are saying Carl Sheffers, we dodged that bullet. Uh, we did draw Sean Hockley. Um, his dad was Ed Hockley. You'll remember him. Had the guns. But yeah, uh, he did week 11 versus the Chargers this year for us. He only called four penalties. It was uh, two on the offense, two on the defense. It didn't seem like it was that crazy of an officiating game. We've had a lot worse this season. So what do you think about that? Do you think the officiating is going to get in the way? Do you think they're going to stay out of the way? What do you think is going to happen this week? Man, you never really know in the NFL. But just the fact that we didn't get stuck with Carl Cheffers, I'll take that as a win. So hopefully this guy, his crew might be a lot more consistent than Cheffers for sure. But it looks like they're kind of letting the guys play in the playoffs this year so far. So hopefully it'll just be an evenly called game, whether they call it tight or it's loose. Just as long as it's consistent, I don't care. Yeah, I will say that Sean Hockley's crew first started. He became a head official in, I want to say, 2019. And they were not shy about throwing flags. They actually flagged more than anybody in the league. So Hockley does have the possibility to make it yellow flags everywhere. Um, let's hope it don't get to that. I don't want to see the NFL come in and get, you know, take out a good game. This is a good matchup here. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, moving on. Uh, the snow globe play, man. It just keeps coming up. Snow globe play. They asked Doug Peterson about it. Um, Peterson said, hey, man, this is probably something the players come up with. Andy's cool like that. Um, it keeps the players engaged. It makes them feel like they're a part of it. He sees no problem with it. They can spin all they want. But they still got to line up within 40 seconds and run the play. And he was cool with it. So my question to you, man. Is the snow globe play going to make a return this week versus Jacksonville, or are we not going to bring it back out ever again? Chances are you're never going to see it again. But if they're anything like me, I would bring it back out just because everybody was so butthurt about it. I would do it again. But um, obviously I wouldn't run the same play out of the formation. But I would definitely bring it back. Why not? It's just fun. I just think it's crazy that one little fun, stupid thing like that has caused such a controversy amongst fan bases and stuff. It's just unreal that people are that sensitive these days, you know? Dude, isn't it crazy? Quinn, the whiner, miners from Denver's crying about it. Um, You name it. People were just all over Twitter. They were so butthurt about that play. And it was not that big of a deal, guys. They were not being disrespectful in any way. That was just something right. fun. Well, this you know what's funny game. about it? If people hadn't cried about it so much, we wouldn't even be talking about it still. But instead, it's still a thing. So if you were Andy, would you come out and run it first play? If if we run yes. Snow Globe first play of the game, uh, we're gonna give away something on the channel. That's that's a promise to you guys. We'll give away a hoodie or something if they yep. come out and start the game with the Snow Globe play. Let's move on. Little John was named the halftime performer. If you guys aren't for sure, what? Uh, yeah, what Little what? John is, we'll do a demonstration. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and that was the halftime performance. So that saved you guys about twenty minutes. Um, go feel free to leave your stands, you know, leave your seats, go get a hot dog, pee, uh, 
drink something warm. Keep that that screaming voice good, so we can go the whole game. I mean, I mean hey, that's about you, it. You, you, you could talk trash on little John, but at least I didn't get Tech Nine for like the 89th time. At least they're trying to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, man, little John. I was like, wonder why they didn't get Tech Nine for once. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'll. I mean, I'll take little John. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's a halftime performance. Uh, nobody cares. We just want to win the game. That's why there's really not much more to talk about with this Jaguars game. Everybody's just pumped and excited for the playoffs to start for the Chiefs. We're hoping they come out firing on all cylinders or not being lackadaisical. It's not one of those, man, we didn't want to get up today kind of games. But let's go ahead and get into some score predictions, man. What do you got? Okay. I'm going to go Chiefs 34, Jaguars 28. The Trevor Lawrence uh, Saturday experience comes to a screeching halt because of Sir Patrick Mahomes. Um, I'm going to say Mahomes is also the MVP. That may be a little easy to pick. But, yeah, I do believe if the Chiefs win, it's got to be on the back of Patrick. Um, I'm going to say Mahomes goes 313 yards, three touchdowns. And I will say Kelsey gets back in the end zone this week. He's been on a little bit of a drought. That is super uncharacteristic. Uh, we're getting back. Kelsey's getting back in the touchdown column, 34-28. And I'm, I'm pleased with that. All right, I'm calling this game 42-24 to Chiefs. And, obviously, Patrick Mahomes as your MVP. He is the MVP of the NFL. I don't care who says what. And he's going to be the MVP of this game. I'm going to have him down for 350 plus and four touchdowns. He he did last time he was playing them. And I think he can repeat that performance this time as long as we have a good ground game established to help him out. Uh, that's where I'm at with it, man. I don't think that they're a pushover. I don't think it's going to be like a big blowout, like never in question game. But I think that the Chiefs can stretch it out towards the end of the game and make it comfortable. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be hard fought both ways. Um, This could surprise everybody and be a defensive showdown. They got a good defense. Our defense could step up. They've been gelling pretty well. Who knows what it's going to do. But um, for everybody in the comments that says we're too negative, I dare you to go back and watch Steve's predictions. This guy predicts a blowout every week. Never <laughs> fails. He is a Chiefs fan through and through. He's blowing out teams. We never blow out anybody. But this guy, will he'll stick with it every time. No shame. He's good to go. So I dare you guys to say that we're too negative. Yeah, so it looks like the weather could be a little cool this weekend, maybe even a little snow or rain. Be a good time to have you an all chief up hoodie. So you might want to get on over to our store, go down in the description, hit that link, or just scroll down a little bit and you can see it there. Buy yourself a hoodie. Rock it at the game. Use code ACU15. Get 15% off everything in the store. You have nothing to lose. A lot of Chiefs Kingdom still concerned about McCall Hartman, why he's not back, why he's regressing. We talked a little bit about it in yesterday's video, and you can check that out right here. Make sure to get in the comments and let us know what you think. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell. And we'll be back after this Chiefs game against the Jacksonville Jaguars to discuss our instant reaction. We will. Go Chiefs. Hit that sub button, baby. We're close to 5 Go Chiefs. Go hey, it's Chiefs. time. It's time. How's it look? Playoffs, baby. Oh.